The metaphor for this reading is the color black. But black is not a color, but the absence of color, like, <coughs> like white. Or the transcendence of color, like white. And in the template of the negative of a photograph, black and white exchange positions. They are twins, a metaphor to ponder. Now, the first poem I'm going to invoke is the muse of poetry for this particular reading, and it's The Stream. The stream, the stream, the current flows, the wind ripples, the soil, la tierra, weeps small keys. I write yo escribo in black stones, black keys. Enter the days, enter the light, enter the wind. The stream flows, remember the dream, el sueño. Remember the stones, remember the stream, remember the wind. Only in extravagant light do I know the stone, the earth, the wind. The stream flows, the soil weeps, you had odd. I write in black stones, in black keys. Next poem is called In the Year of Thirteen Moons. Now, in September of 26th of 2014, 43 students in Mexico were abducted in the town of Iguala. They have still not been found. Their parents are searching for them. There's been a couple of articles about it in the U.S. There are many demonstrations in Mexico about this issue. Uh, they probably were abducted by drug gangs with the co collusion of the police. In the year of 13 moons, something terrible has happened, something big. We are bound for the state of Guerrero, southwest of Mexico City. Three months ago, on September 26th, in the year of our Lord, 2014, 43 students were abducted in the town of Iguala disappeared into stones, the sky. The 43, their photos are everywhere. They are now desaparecidos, the disappeared. The mothers and fathers, stoic hard workers, campesinos, searching for their children, gone from the earth, desaparecidos into stones, the sky. We think this is the road. This is the road they were driven on, this wind-whipped slope where the road ends, where the truck stopped, where the boys frog marched further through bramble and mesquite, sobbing, silent, praying to an unknown spot in the dark. This is where the road ends. This was in the year of 13 moons, past the canyon of eight echoes in the tundra of seven scorpions that plant their fangs in the dry earth of bramble, dry earth of mesquite, beyond the steaming gulch. In the time of plague, of locusts cross the skies, buzzards circling in a hush, gazing down, searching for children, desaparecidos, in the state of Guerrero, in the town of Iguala, the 43, in the year of 13 moons. There once was a singing blackbird for Eric Garner who died on camera on Staten Island on July 17, 2014. There once was a singing blackbird. The blackbird sings no more. He wove his chord to the rising moon. The blackbird sang to the ashen dune. A snowman, an owl, a bird of prey, clutched the throat of the singing bird. A dissonant chord veiled the sun. The moon descended without a word. 
The blinking stars wove a winding sheet of sylvan reed. The sun turned black. A child bent his knee, saying grace. A ragman turned his bending back. The whale stopped singing. The owl froze. The blackbird dropped silken chain of sound. The owl screeched. The moon turned green. The west wind sighed a wreath of sound. The blackbird sighed a wreath of sound. Clouds dispersed. The world turned round. The blackbird whispered, I cannot breathe. The blackbird wove a sylvan wreath. The blackbird sings no more. Now this is called Wind and Rain, and it is for the refugees and immigrants who are escaping the barbarism and horrors of the Middle East and Africa. They get on rickety boats supplied by, uh, by uh, uh, smugglers, and um, many of them, many of them do not make it. They try to make it to Italy and beyond. and. Uh, this is based on an incident that happened in October of 2014. Wind and rain. The Awadala brothers were delirious. In the waves of the shore of Aletta, Malta, they were the sconosciutos, the unknowns, after the boat capsized in the black water of Malta. And where were the 300? Now they were two holding on to a plank. They remembered crawling through the tunnels, sprinting across deserts. Where were the 300? Maybe it was always two, always two. Mamun and Samir Awadala back on the patio, watching their mother hang the red chilies to dry. Where was the sea? Where was the sky? Hold on to the plank. Were they delivered to a tunnel near the town of Khan Yunus? Did they descend a ladder and crawl on their elbows for hours? Did a hatch open and a voice yell, Run, 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 then the shack, trunk of a car, the big city? Was it Alexandria? Then sprint across the strand, wait, chest deep in water, then the large boat, hold on to the plank. Then the three hundred. Where are the 300? Maybe it was always two, always two, hold on to the plank. They are the sconosciutos, the unknowns, in the waves off the shore of Valletta, Malta, on the last morning, south of Sicily. They are the wind and rain over the black waters. Now, this is for the migrants from Central America and Mexico. They, too, have to make it through mountains, deserts, forests, shacks, trunks of cars, with coyotes, smugglers, possible abduction, sex trafficking, and so on. This is in their voice. It's called, Get Up and Bar the Door. We are the flood, the plague, the wall. The atrocities, los magarentes, the stones who don't matter, the glass in your eye. We are Christ in Chiapas, waiting for la bestia, the beast, the last train that leaves for nowhere, the mudflats that breathe the black throat of river, the marshes oozing blood, the leg of a feral hard, los puercos, the pigs, hungry for your slop. Get up and bar the door. We are the atrocities. Our ladies are the corpomatics, the credit cards made of flesh. They give themselves for nothing. Nada, Madonna of the rag. Wipe your hands on her. Smear her on your face. Que bonita bandera. You can eat her for dinner. Feral bone on El Camino Real. Look for us under your wall, in your tunnels, in your marshes, in the black throat of river. Get up and bar the door.
Over the last few months, there have been many atrocities, and this addresses many of them. Uh, this was written after the Senate report on the black sites of enhanced interrogation of the CIA. In feral order, slow to the slaughter. In feral order, slow to the slaughter. Children of stones, stones that don't matter, slump into boxcars, limp onto barges, barges that drift the slow promenade. Children of stone in no special order, thrown to the gravel, softer than bone, bone for the boxcar, bone for the chimney, smoke for the barges, the slow promenade. 24 blackbirds slow to the slaughter, swirl round the barges, drifting the shore. Black of the river, smoke of the boxcar, shriek of the heron, the slow promenade. Pilots of heaven, the drones are ignited, children of stones slump to the floor. In feral order, slow to the slaughter, smoke from the barges the slow promenade. Now, in this uh, environment, in this society, the citizen has become inconvenient. He's become data. He's become uh, a consumer. So this is addressed to the citizen in the world today, the inconvenient citizen. Dress him up as mannequin, drape him in posters in the finest slogans, speak to him, tell him what he should be, what he should want, what he should see. Tell him, listen, little man, wear our raffish finery, be bold, be our Napoleon of the pantry, of the forks, of the steering wheel. Drive to the far country, four-wheel drive, anti-lock brakes, bullets and burgers, aromatic grenade launches, picnic on the grass, casino coup de, casino coup d'etat, casino coup de grace. Look for the secret of the cards under the hood, wonder wheel of fortune, the queen of spades, jack of all trades, luck of the draw, in the hall of lottery, the fakery, the pros, you've done it, you've doed it, you are the man, the fun, the find, summa cum laude, uber alles, uno animo, with one mind. Black Narcissus, Black Narcissus, O oh, linear leaves, O oh, yellow flower, O oh, bristling corona, I call to you from the shadows, las sombras, and you appeared, una apparición, an apparition. You are the wind, breath of song, oleander and muscatel. You are the air, clear as crystal. You are the stream, extravagant light. You are the mountain beyond the plain. I came here to forget, olvidar, desamparado, forlorn. But I hear the murmur of the stream, the bristling wind, the flower on my cheek. Oh, black Narcissus, I could not stop the wind. Or the air, clear as crystal or the shade of the mountain beyond the plain. I call to you from the shadows, las sombras, las sombras. And the final poem is for James Baldwin. Death comes for James Baldwin. And he died in France. He was a living in exile for most good part of his life since the 60s. He came back to the U.S. for demonstrations and so on. When he died, uh, uh, there was a companion with him, a close friend, a companion, and this is written from the point of view of the companion. Death comes for James Baldwin. He said, I saw her picture, 
a picture on the wall. I gave him a straw, a straw he could swallow no more. He could swallow no more. His throat was dry, dry as Death Valley floor. He could swallow, swallow no more. He stared at the picture. Was there light in her eye? Was it dark? Was it black? Was it black what he saw? He said, I remember, I remember what it was like before, before. Was it dark? Was it black? Was it black what he saw? Was he thinking of Pine? Was he thinking of Beale Street? Was he riding the Culver or the West End line? Did he see a tower of gold? Did he see the morning star? Was he opening, opening? Was he closing the door? Did he see Martin? Did he see Malcolm? Did he see Moses at the door? Was the bush burning? Was the tongue on fire? Was the law given? Was the law taken? as he went out the door. He looked out at the mountain. Did the dungeon shake? Was it Jacob's ladder that he saw? Was there a flame, a flame rising, a wall of fire that he saw? Was there another country, a tower of gold, an anointed vessel that he saw? Did he hear thunder? Was he lost? Was he found? was their light upon the wall. Okay. Okay. I want to thank the audience for coming to this reading. I want to thank the readers. Incredible work on that. Here's Bernard, Maria Chisholm, and Diane I want to thank uh, Peter Kozlowski for uh, filming, videotaping this. I want to thank Angela Verga and Robin Hirsch for allowing us to read here. I want to thank Conchetta Abate for inspiring two of the poems that I read, The Stream and Black Narcissus. She has a wonderful CD called Falling in Time. She's back there and you can ask her about it. And of course, Sudan's Angels for um, Maria Chisholm. Thank you all for coming to Spoken Word Poetry. Deeply appreciated and hope to see you in May. Thank you. Thank you.